tonight. Olympic hero Tom Daly returns to take five celebrities to the edge. So scary and so high. As they dive into the unknown. The celebrities are going to struggle. It's like a panic, like I'm breathing. One mistake and it's going to hurt a lot. Oh. It's time. I'm just so scared. To make. So much can go wrong. A splash. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. She's back, and tonight, diving for your entertainment. Wildlife presenter, Michaela Strachan. Soap star, Ricky Groves. Hollyoaks actress, Gemma Murna. Diversity's Perry Keeley. And finally, it's TOWIE star, Gemma Collins. since Monday. So oh. We've got the water, we've got the celebrities. There's just one vital ingredient missing. Yeah, you're right. I think we need the reigning British dive champion of Commonwealth gold medal. All into one perfect package. Yep, he's here. It's Tom Daly! very shortly, once he's had a chance to put on some more clothes. <laughs> All right, we are back and the atmosphere here is electric, which is, let's be honest, a health and safety nightmare considering we're so close to the water. This year's celebrities have been in training for the last few weeks and tonight five of them are going to get to show us what they've got. But this show is not for the faint-hearted, as they could be jumping off the top of that 10-metre board up there. Yeah, to give you an idea, stack two Range Rovers on top of each other and then put them on top of a two-storey house. But you won't be able to drive the cars. Mm. And that's before they've got to grips with the thought of hitting the water at nearly 40 miles an hour. Wow. Up for grabs tonight are two places in the coveted semi-finals, but to get there, they also have to take on our judges. My name's Andy Banks. I've been coaching for 30 years now. Try and make sure you work your feet through in front. I've produced medals at European Championships, World Championships, Commonwealth Games, and of course, the Olympic Games. My relationship with Tom is that I've been coaching him. Do you still feel that slightly away, Tom? And I guess mentoring him too, since the age of eight, up to the current day. My name is Joe Brown. I'm 56 and I'm a model. I have very little knowledge of the technicalities of diving. I will be looking towards bravado, style and 
bravery. My diving credentials are that once I fell off the side into a pool. I'm Neil Taylor, an Olympic silver medalist uh, from Athens in 2004. I've been in the sport for nearly 30 years, competed for Great Britain for 16 years at three Olympic Games. So I've been there and done it. I agree, a fresh pair of eyes, a little bit harsher, you know, give a, a little bit of a younger feel to the panel. They're going to go onto the board and just fall and flop into the water. That's not going to impress me. What I'm going to be looking for is technical proficiency. You know, diving is all about the entry into the water. Go for it and just go to the limit of what you think you can achieve and then you'll win. to have you back as a Team GB coach. Give us an idea of what our celebrities have let themselves in for. The toughest thing about learning to dive, Werner, is that when it goes wrong, it really hurts. Smacking into that water can be like hitting a brick wall. And, of course, that means fear. And you have to be able to overcome it if you're going to be able to be successful in diving. Have our celebrities got what it takes or not? That's what we're going to find out. Joe Brand, great as always to see you. What is it going to take to impress you this year? Courage, confidence, chutzpah, and also the ability to remain cool like I did when I rushed from the synchronised swimming routine to my <laughs> desk, getting changed on the way. <laughs> Joe Brown's here, everyone. <laughs> Leon. Leon, as an Olympic diver, you've been there, you've done it, you've experienced everything to do with diving, but let's talk about the fear factor. It's scary stuff, this. Yeah, of course they're going to be scared. This is, this is where it all counts. Diving is physically challenging, mentally and emotionally challenging, but this is where it all counts tonight. They've got to perform in front of this audience when it counts. Let's wait and see. We'll be catching up with those guys a little later on. But, of course, it's not all down to these guys, because after all the celebrities have dived, you at home get the chance to vote for your favourite when the phone lines open later in the show. Your votes will then be combined with the judges' scores, and the celebrity with the most points goes straight through to the semi-finals. The two divers with the lowest points, well, I'm afraid, they'll be diving into a cab, heading to the pub and saying goodbye. <laughs> the remaining two will battle it out in a splash-off. Oh, yes, the splash-off, where our judges decide who stays and who goes. So, our celebrities have spent the last few weeks twisting, turning, jumping and pushing themselves hard in training, all under the watchful eye of one man. It is, of course, our chairman of the boards, Tom Daly. When you stand on the end of the diving board, it's one of the most lonely experiences you can have. All your senses kind of heighten. It really does get your adrenaline pumping. You've done all your training. There's nothing more you can do. When you take off, you know if you're going to do a good dive or not. It does feel like time slows down. I'm at my happiest when I'm on the end of the board, to be honest. I know it sounds really sad, but it's true. I first started diving when I was seven years old. I have to make huge sacrifices all the time for diving. 26 hours a week training, blood, sweat, tears, but it's worth it. I'd say my greatest sporting achievement would be winning an Olympic bronze medal in 2012. It's given me so many different opportunities. Not once did I ever think my life would turn out like this. To be a good diver, you need bravery, confidence. It's such a psychological sport. Jumping off a board that is the height of two double-decker buses, hitting the water at 34 miles an hour. One mistake, it's going to hurt a lot. Every time I go up onto the 10-metre board, I'm terrified. There he is! Tom Daly, all dried off. All dried and dressed. Listen, I'm hearing little snippets sneaking out in the press that the standard this year is higher than ever. Yeah, the celebrities this year really have raised the bar. They've been so much fun to work with, not been without its fair share of ups and downs, but they want to learn new things, they are trying their best, and there are a few belly flops, but it's been great. Of course, we expect yeah, that. Always. One of the things <laughs> they have to do is overcome this idea of appearing in public with very few clothes on. You yes. do it all the time, you're used to it. Yeah, there's not many people that wear more clothes to bed than they do to work. Um, I'm quite used to that. Speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, but 
hats, uh, these celebrities aren't, so you have to take your hats off them, really. And you everything do. else. And, you, and your shirt and your trousers. Yeah, Listen, exactly. Tom Daly in the Splash <laughs> Arena. <laughs> From everyone, so there's only one thing for it. Are you ready for some diving? <laughs> Kicking off. Our first heat is a television presenter who's swapping her natural autumn watch for a spot of bear watch. It's Michaela Strachan. <laughs> I'm Michaela Strachan, I'm 47 years old, and I'm a presenter mainly of wildlife programmes. Hello and welcome to the Really Wild Show, which this week is larger than life. When we first stood by the pool, we saw Tom Daly doing his dive for the 10 metre. There's no way we're going to get to that. Hi guys, Hi. I'm Tom, so we're going to start on the basics. I've dived with sharks, I've dived with whales, but never done any diving off boards before. Very good. I'm good at being disciplined. Always have been. So go down deep. Wow, that was amazing. It's actually better than some of the divers that can do it. <laughs> Michaela has really impressed me. And the way she takes on corrections is really impressive. She's definitely one that's going to be doing it for the girls. I think the biggest challenge is the height thing. Oh my word. And I'm not a massive fan of heights. My knees start going and I start to feel sick. But that, but some, so much can go wrong between here and the water. Ten metre, it is a ridiculously long way down. So that's like jumping off a three-storey building. It's going to be a challenge for me. Whoa. I can't tell you how sore my bum is. Michaela just has to work on that bum a little bit. She's sticking the bum out a little bit too much. But if we can work on that, then she's going to be one to watch out for. I think it's going to be absolutely nerve-wracking on the live show. You've got seconds to show your dive. And if you lose concentration, it's going to go wrong. Michaela, up here, setting the standard tonight. Has this whole process been more difficult than you imagined? I think I've been more bruised, more achy and more sore than I imagined. Over Christmas, I couldn't actually move my neck. I was like that. So, yeah, it's been a lot harder than I thought it would be. We can't wait to see you dive. Michaela will tonight be performing the inward dive with Tuck from the five-metre board. Obviously, she's going to execute it perfectly. But just in case, there's only one person who could show us all how it should be done. Let's have a look at Tom. Jump up and backwards away from the board. To form the perfect tuck, pull the body into a tight ball and rotate forwards. Straighten out vertical for the perfect entry. Ladies and gentlemen, Michaela Strachan! like a salmon, she soared like an eagle and landed... Well, let's not dwell on the landing. She needed to make a good tuck shape, putting those knees in tight. Don't come out too early, though, because that makes getting straight really difficult. Now, let's take a walk on the wild side and for the first time this series, find out what the judges think. Oh, well done, Michaela. I'll tell you what, it's never easy being the first diver of a brand new series. But well, congratulations, you did a Thank great you. job. Uh, Andy, you're up first. What do you think of the dive? It's never easy being the first diver in any competition. You've come in here, straight onto five metres, with an inward dive touch, which is made more difficult by the fact you've got a great big chunk of concrete staring <laughs> you in the face, and you've got to rotate inwards towards that. Really strong takeoff. Unfortunately, you, did, you came out of that tuck position just that little bit yeah. too early, so you were a bit short, but it was a great effort. All right, thanks. Andy, John? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were like a lively little leprechaun leaping into a lake of loveliness. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. And I think it took an awful lot to go, to go first and, and keep your call. Cool. Um, it was amazing. 
and I've loved you for years and all your animal shows, and I'm a bit of an animal, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a sloth. All right, yeah. okay. Thanks, you all, Leon. <laughs> well, McKenna, you're not, you're not messing around. You know, you had the option of doing a forward dive or something a lot safer, but you've turned around, balanced backwards on your tiptoes, and, you know, under the pressure, Unfortunately, you were short vertical as you went in, but it's actually perfect for the 7.5 metres. So I know you're scared, <laughs> but if you get through to the semi finals, up you go. Thanks. All right, thanks very much, Leon. So that's what the judges thought. Let's find out their scores. They were scoring out of 10, and the judges' total scores were combined with your form votes later on in the show. Andy? Well, we had some difficulty, but it was also a little bit of short on the performance. So it's a 7 for me. 7, thanks, Andy. Joel. For me, I was impressed. A 7.5. 7.5. Divided up a 6.5 for me, but I think there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, our judges. 21 out of 30. But it's all down, all down to the judges, of course. If Michaela's died, get your thumbs up and vote for her using the number shown on your screen. Don't do it just yet, though. Lines open later in the show after everyone has dived. Let's hear it for Michaela Strachan, everyone. Well done. Well, the mentor is here, and that is a tough dive. Yes. It's a really tough dive. She's out there, she's going first, she's going around backwards. And she's, I mean, you think about it, you stood backwards on five metres, you're jumping backwards and you're rotating towards the board and you think you're going to see that you've, the board and everything, your face is right there and you pulled it off amazingly well, so good job. Well, it's a bit short though, wasn't it? A little bit short, but we can work on that for the semi-final if you get to 7.5 metre board next. <laughs> 10 metre board next. It's perfect for 10 metre, maybe even 15, yeah, thanks, so thanks. you're okay. Little steps, little steps. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad it's over. Yeah, I am. I was really chuffed actually to be the first one because I, I, I like to get things over, so uh, yeah. Great I feel job. like I'm relaxed Great now. job, Michaela, <laughs> great job. All right, right up. We are up and running. Still to come, we have ex extender Ricky Groves and diversity's Perry Keeley. He feels the pressure. I hurt myself down there. He's kind of giving himself a little bit of a knacker knocker. I'm doing really want to do it. I'm just. I just hope I don't bottle it up. This place brings back some really happy memories. I know, the atmosphere, the camaraderie, the incredible diving. Now I'm talking about finding a quid in the changing room lockers, made me dare, spent it on a fudge. <laughs> Tonight, five celebrities are going head to water as they duel it out on the diving board for one of the two places on offer in our semi-finals. They'll be scored by our expert judges and then you at home getting a chance to vote for your favourite when the lines open later on in the show. Before the break, Michaela Strachan set the standard with the first dive of the night and the series, so there could be no pooling around from her competition. Our next celebrity is a proper ducker and diver. He's the Arthur Daly to our Tom Daly. It's former East Ender Ricky Brown! Yeah. My name's Ricky Groves. You probably know me best as Gary Hobbs in EastEnders. And I'll get a hug. <laughs> Guess not. I really don't have any experience of diving whatsoever. To be honest, I'm not that physically fit. Like everything you see on TV, you often think, oh, I can do that, that looks easy. But when you get here... It's a lot more difficult, I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen. Ricky is really up for it. But you just have to work on his technique a little bit. The head first thing scares me a little bit. A few sort of back flops rather than belly flops. And a couple of sideways landers. I hurt myself down there a little bit. Just where the navel meets the, the sort of hairline, I suppose you'd call it. He's looked down, he's started rotating, and he's kind of given himself a little bit of a knacker knocker. You're a fool if you don't become competitive at these sort of things. Little Perry, he's going, he's, oh, I went, where's he going, where's he going? He's up there already on the five metre balls, and I'm going, well, if he can do it, then I can do it. Get a bit gel. Oh, get a bit gel, well, well gel, whatever, Trevor. Ricky he wants to be the top dog in this competition. I don't think he likes being shown up a little bit by Perry. It's not a dive, but there's a big difference between a jump and a dive. I don't know how I'll fare in the heat, but I've got to pull something really special out of the bag. And that'll have to be higher up, I suppose. All right, Ricky, 
you're a pretty fearless competitor. Mm -hmm. Not scared of much. How yep. does that help you diving? Uh, well, I'm very anxious, a little bit nervous, but I'd just like to thank all the members of the St John's Ambulance that have chosen to join us here this evening. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we won't be needing them, but yeah. <laughs> all right, Ricky will be performing the forward dive with Tuck from five metres. I'll be honest with you, I could show you myself how to do it, but that Christmas turkey is sitting pretty heavy. It'd be pretty embarrassing in my trunk. That. So let's get Tom to demonstrate. From a strong takeoff, tuck in tight with pointed toes and knees together. Kick out into a straight line, hitting the water vertically for a splash free entry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Grohl! mechanic might have thrown a spanner in the works here when it comes to him winning splash spring from the board go up and over that imaginary wall that's in front of you he sort of bulldozes it but the legs are bad on entry now unlike his character gary ricky will be more interested in his overall score rather than scoring in his overalls you've got a big smile on your face you have you were shaking so much, those fish were swimming while you were waiting. They were, they were. Away, But yeah. I love those shorts and I love that dive, and you. you did too. Yeah, I did. I, I, I did, wasn't so confident in uh, rehearsals earlier, and then, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, the good, good uh, bad rehearsal, good chance. So. Well, let's see. Let's see what the judges thought of Joe Brown first. Well, you look very pleased that you're unscathed, and yeah. <laughs> I'm very pleased for you as well. Um, I thought that, that worked pretty well, actually. You made a bit of a splash as you went in. Not as big a one as I might make, so I was impressed by that as well. And also, I need a new door knocker, and you've given me a good idea for what I might use. <laughs> <laughs> You're still on the five-metre board with the slightly easier front forward dive tucked. <laughs> Having said that, the performance was great. I thought you'd blown it, because you leant a little bit too far on the takeoff. Yeah. But you controlled the tuck shape brilliantly, and the entry was pretty good. Well done. Thank you very much. Oh, very yeah. fun. Leon, yeah, what do you it, make of it? Yeah, it, it was the easier option. I was a little disappointed when I was watching the training video. I saw you going for the inward dive, which is obviously yeah. much more difficult. So you played safe, which is a bit of a gamble. However, you attacked the start, so you had some good height from the diving board, and the entry was bang on your head, bolt upright. Your feet were all over the shop, but mm. apart from that, yeah. you know, pretty good. You know, when it's disappointing, when you do all that training and all of a sudden you do a silly thing like that at the end, but thank you. Good, good stuff. OK, well, there are the comments. Thank Very you. good. Shall we get the scores? Out of ten. Starting with Andy, please. It was a little bit less difficulty, yeah. but it was a better performance, so I'm going with a seven again. Seven again. Uh, I'm going with 7.5. Thank you very much. Good effort. Leon. 6.5. 6.5. 21 out of 30. I can't complain, can I? How can no. I possibly complain? I'm so spoiled in life being able to do this with really <laughs> nice people. I really am. Good for you, good for you. Well, you've heard Thank from you. the judges. Has Ricky impressed you with his dive? If he has, vote for him using the number displayed on your screen when the lines open after everyone has dived. For now, though, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Gross! <laughs> Tom, a fearless competitor, surely that's the perfect student in diving. Yeah, I mean, he's taken quite a few knocks in training. He's landed flat in all directions. Anything you can land on, he did. But he gets back up and gives it another go. And Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Good job. Yeah, thank you very much. Happy with the judges' comments? Yes, I was, yeah. And, you know, it's quite right. We do all this training and you get little things wrong at the end and it's, it's good that we've got that tough love, you know? All right, perfect. Two down. Gabby, who's up next? Well, our third diver is a soap actress, which surely means she's no stranger to water. Let's hope she doesn't get in a lava tonight. It's star of Hollyoaks, Gemma Manor. <laughs> Gemma Myrna. I am 29 years of age and I play Carmen the Queen on Hollyoaks. Pam, um, what do you know about wine beyond red, white and pink? What are these other colours? My experience with diving, I've not had any. <laughs> I am scared of heights. I would say I've got vertigo, yeah. I don't even like going off the side. My face going in the water, I kind of panic. <clears throat> as soon as I hit the water, I just want to get out again. 
Well, Tom has really been encouraging me. Your form's great, your leg line, toe point, everything's great. So make sure you go deep. Gemma Myrna is definitely progressing. She's going into the water, she's stretching her legs, she's got pointed toes, but she's really struggling with her nerves. I'm just getting myself a little bit stressed. I feel like I should be a bit further than I actually am. She just has to believe in herself. So to give me a little bit more confidence for my diving, they've put me in a harness to help with my technique. My fears are really holding me back, and mentally it's a challenge. I just went off the three metre for the first time, but I let go of my hands, so I smashed my face and my boots. Well, I've got a fear of water, a fear of heights, and a fear of diving, so I really don't know what I'm going to do in front of millions of people on the live show. Now, Gemma, you're a complete opposite to Ricky. He's fearless, you're scared of pretty much everything, including heights and water. Are you feeling confident still on the three-metre board? Um, I am nervous, don't get me wrong. My heart's pounding, but, um, you know, I've come into this competition for a challenge, so I've just got to do it. All right, fingers crossed. Tonight, Gemma will be performing the forward pike fall from the three-metre board. Here's Tom to demonstrate. Form the perfect pike position at the end of the board with straight legs and locked hands. In the fall, straighten through to the crucial entry point. Ladies and gentlemen, Gemma Mana! then we might already have a splash champion. A simple dive chosen, though, by our Hollyoaks actress. Lifting her head too soon in the water causes those legs to become loose on entry. Judges, has our actress performed well enough to top the splash leaderboard? Come on, let's find out, Gemma. First of all, what did you make of that? Oh, I'm made up. I really am. I just... I've done everything of what I set out to do, so... Conquering emotional now, yeah. But thank oh, you. Oh, <laughs> great dive. Well done. Great effort. Let's see what the judges thought. Andy, you first. Gemma, if I'm honest, I am so frustrated. It's unbelievable. But I'm frustrated because it was so good. Uh, your tension, which is the crucial part of that dive, was great. So the entry was brilliant, and that means you're safe enough and technically good enough to get up there and do something even harder. Uh, and you will get better scores if you do that because the dive yeah. itself was quite easy. But it's a great performance yeah, that dive. I just wish you'd... you'd it was brave, great praise. Brave brave yeah, yeah, it's too much fear at the moment. Joe, yeah. what did you make of that? Um, <clears throat> I thought that was really brave. Um, I thought it looked very graceful. I don't like putting my face in water either, so I haven't washed <laughs> since the 1960s. <laughs> and I'd advise you to do the same. <laughs> Leon. Well, Joe, it's such a shame that you've got the scared thing going on, because you've got all the attributes of a great diver. Your entry into the water was very smooth, great toe point. But this is a competition where difficulty counts, and that is as easy as it gets. So, unfortunately, the marks, certainly for me, will be lower. Fair enough. No problems. OK, well, I came that? into this competition just to achieve that, so, but thank you very much. OK, maybe you can go higher if you move on. But let's maybe. find out the scores. <laughs> Andy. Very well performed. Easy dive. It's a six for me. OK. Joe. It's good. It's a 6.5 from me. Thank you. And Leah. 5.5 from me. Okay, Thank yeah? you. Yeah. Good. Conquering your fears <laughs> as well. That puts Gemma in third place on the leaderboard. So she's performed her best, but do you think her best was good enough? Should Gemma dive again in the semi-finals? If you think she should, vote for her using the numbers on the screen when the lines open after everyone has dived. Let's hear it for Gemma Manor. <laughs> Tom, 18 out of 30. Scores are pretty irrelevant because she overcame some major fears with that dive. Yeah, absolutely. She was terrified in training and she's just done the best one that I've ever seen her do, and that's a sign of a true competitor to pull it out of the bag. Excellent. Yeah. Well done, Gemma. Good job. Thank you. That was Thank amazing. You. Really good job. How, how are you well feeling done. after that? Oh, just really emotional because, you know, I've had this fear for such a long time, so. Oh, well done. Oh. Well done. We're all really proud of you. Well done. Someone get a hanky.
you. Gummy, back to you. So, three celebrities have taken their leap of faith and died. But we still have two more limbering up. Still to come, Towie's Gemma Collins and Diversity's Perry Keely take to the water. Tom is pushing me to do something spectacular. It's super, super scary. I don't want to let anyone down. I'm afraid I can do this. I can't do it. As long as we get that complimentary umbrella. Yeah, we've seen three celebrities take the plunge already, and they're all safe and sound and eating midi cheddars from the vending machine. Talking to Jackie on reception, who's trying to give them a discount for yogurt on Thursday. She's a lovely lady. Well, I don't know about that. When my Jaffa cakes got stuck in the machine, she wouldn't give them the money back. It's got you a girl. OK, let's have a little look at the leaderboard. Michaela and Ricky, after their dives, are in joint top spot with 21 points. And Gemma Murder is currently at the bottom with 18 points. It's early days, though, and our next diver is about to swap his street dancing for a spot of river dancing, well, pool dancing, to be precise. From diversity, it's Perry Keeley! I'm Perry, I'm 18 years old, and I'm a dancer from Diversity. I'm pretty physically fit. When Tom first showed us the demo dive, I was literally blown away. OK, hurry up, you go. You might have to take your glasses off, though. Perry is a little daredevil. He wants to show everyone what he's got. Front flip, front flip, then back into a back flip, and then do like this twist. Do like five more back flips, and then a front flip, and then that's it. I think Perry is definitely ready to go off 10 meters already. You'll I'll be do fine. Really, I'll do it. I'm just. <laughs> Look, I'm getting bubbly now. <laughs> Perry, don't make you do I'll it. I'll dive it back. <laughs> don't. You stand on the end. One, two, three, go. Impressive. Perry has got so much potential as a diver. I'm really excited to see where he can go with it. Jumping is one thing, but diving is another. It's still super, super scary. I know Tom is pushing me to do something spectacular on Saturday night. Oh, no! But just because I'm a dancer does not mean I'm a diver. I am struggling with the pipe one and a half because when I take my glasses off, I can't see, so I'm just waiting for the water to hit. I'm really scared to go to the live shows. I don't know if I can do this. And I'm, I just hope I don't bottle it. way scared. I can't see. It's high, and I don't want a belly flop. Putting them together, it's a scary combination. You look like you're really struggling there, so how come we're on the 10-metre board? Oh, do you know what? It's the first show, you know, so you've got to impress. It's not too difficult, but... I've got to impress still. So you're brave, you're ready for it. How is that transition from dancing to diving? Because people might think it's easy, you're thrown around all the time by the big guys. This is different, though. Do you know what? It is completely different. There's so much technique involved. But hopefully, I'll have my head around it a little bit. Got to take the glasses. No, I can't see. Right? <laughs> <laughs> OK, Perry is going to be performing the falling back somersault from the 10-metre board. Let's have a little look, shall we, and see how Tom does it. Fall back off the board. Keep the body completely straight with no bend at the hips throughout this somersault, landing in the water feet first with the arms by the side. Ladies and gentlemen, Perry Keeley! to the sky pretty well on his own. The trick here is not to push off too much from the board, allowing Perry to control that rotation. Got the arms out of controlling, but if our judge Andy gives Perry some tips on diving, maybe Perry can give Andy some tips on hairstyle. Or maybe not. Perry, I'd 
just wish, Perry, I just wish you could have seen Ashley and the lads from Diversity. They were out of their seats like nobody's business. <laughs> All right, Leon, what do you think? Well, Perry, you're, you're living up to expectations. Daredevil stuff. Straight up to the 10 metres, not forwards, but backwards. I've seen your training video. I've seen what you can do on a trampoline. I've seen all the spins and tricks, and I see the potential. So, for me, actually, I'm a little disappointed. Hello! Oh, come on! Perry, Hello, that, was, Leon. that was a stunt Hello, dive. Leon. You went in feet first. It was a fall. I think there is so much more that It's you... the top board, Leon. It's the top board. <laughs> it's the top board! You can't. You can't. But, you know, Can to be I just intervene, guys? He was brilliant. Come on. Yeah. He was. Leon. He was. He was brilliant. You were brilliant, right. Perry, but there's more. I know that there's more. Definitely. Andy, technically, the entry was pretty much perfect, if I'm... Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you're absolutely right, Vernon. In fact, I went up to the end of the chair. <laughs> um, at the end of the day, you went on the top board, ten metres up, you turned round backwards, you somersaulted, it's still the heat, there's time, there's time. And that entry, what do they call it? Sick. It was sick. It was sick. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Joel, you said you liked it. It was a great dive. It, it was absolutely fantastic. I was a bit worried when you took your glasses off. You might try and <laughs> dive into the wall, but it's a sensible thing to do. I take my glasses off when I'm cage fighting at the Women's Institute. <laughs> <laughs> Keep being sensible. I thought it was brilliant. Thank All right, you. let's get those scores. Andy, your scores for Perry. Listen, there is definitely some more difficulty in there for you, but that was an extremely good effort. 8.5. Yes, well done. I think you deserve a little bit more nine from me. Perry, well, can I, um, Perry, can I just say that I think you can go all the way in this competition, but you do need to step it up. It's a 7.5 from me. Definitely. Does Paris dive get you jumping for joy? If so, then vote for him using the numbers on your screen and lines open after everyone's dive. Keep your hands to yourself until then. No tapping keys. Let's hear it for Perry Keeley! Right, 25 out of 30, but there was real diversity in the comments there, wasn't there? Yeah, I mean, it is a scary dive. You're standing backwards, you're falling backwards, you don't know when you're going to hit the water. And to be honest, you can do it better than me, Ooh. so good job, oh, good thanks. job. <laughs> what about the idea of you doing a few twists and tumbles off that 10-metre board? Though? Definitely on it. Yes! Wanna do it, wanna you, do can it. Do it. you can do it. You can do it. How did that experience today help settle those nerves? Oh, defo. I've done it once, I can do it plenty more times. So much Great. support for you, Amelia. It's like the biggest war of the night. Oh, that's wicked. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You're right, Bill, for a diver. Yeah. Everyone has to be short, so we're good, you know? And, and <laughs> Andy has never used the word sick with regard to a diving performance in his life, no. I'm guessing. <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't think he even knows how to use a mobile phone, so... <laughs> <laughs> we're doing good. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Perry, well done. <laughs> All right, after the break, and diving last, Essex girl Gemma Collins sees her life pass before her eyes. The minute we get the hype on it, it just all goes peak tongue. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Welcome back to Splash, a show that expects celebrities to get half naked before throwing them in at the deep end. What's not to love? Nothing, nothing. Last to dive is a Towie regular who's about to discover that the only way is off the end of the diving board. It's Gemma Collins! I'm Gemma Collins, and you may all know me from the hit reality TV show. The only way is Essex. I am sexy. Might not be a size 10, but I've got a good heart. You want a heart, buddy? You want a good body? First things first, what are they? I am from Essex, Tom. Need to go. I only really take to the pole if I'm in Marbella. <laughs> I've had to have a little bit of sugar in my body to keep going. I'm no Jane Fonda. Probably weigh more than anyone else. I'm in and out of this water more times than I've had hot dinners. Thank you. 
Olympics. Much better. I'm going to be in Rio, Tom. Don't you worry about that. Oh, great. For the next Olympic. I'm cutting through the water like knife to a butter. But the minute you add extra height on it, it just all goes peak tongue. It's the height of two double-decker buses. What the hell have I put myself up for? I get scared every time I go up onto 10 metres. Do you? Every time. If I dive off for one metre, I've, I've got the skill and everything. But when I'm going to the pre, I just lose it all. It's the panic of the drop. Man, this is serious. This is gonna kill me. <laughs> That's how I feel. Three metres is the size of a house, isn't it? The live show is approaching, and to be honest with you, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. It's mind over matter for Gemma. I know Gemma can do this. She just has to get over this mental block. I don't want to let anyone down. I've said I can do this. I can't do it. to say that you have found this the hardest I'm nearly all. crying now, I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, my God. I found so it tough, haven't you? What's been the hardest thing for you? All of it. And you've had some terrible injuries, haven't you, as well? <laughs> That's just happened... Bruised all over. Yes, I can see. That has happened in the last 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, that's why I'm shaking. And that's how brave you are. Yeah, it's I happened. don't want to let anyone down to all my fans out there and everyone that believes in me. I'm just going to try my best. Well, I know you've got bruises elsewhere. Right? We'll leave those where they are. Very, very best of luck to you, Gemma, because, you know, this is a really big thing for you to overcome, isn't it? Are you ready to do this? No, but I've got to... You have. You're here? I've got to do You're it. You're on the three-metre board. You can do it. It's a forward pike fall from up here on the three-metre board that Gemma is going to perform. Shall we have a look at how Tom does it? Yeah. Form the perfect pike position at the end of the board with straight legs and locked hands. In the fall, straighten through to the crucial entry point. Splash, the only way is down. And Gemma's just found that out first hand. I don't even think praying to God will help. Gemma's had a lot of nerves and bruising to deal with. Coming up short with that dive, he needed to push off and get the full rotation straightened up. She's got a glittery costume, but did her dive sparkle for the judges? Come on. Well done, Gemma. You did a great job. Everyone in the arena here is so chuffed that you actually did it. Well done, well done. Come on. Awesome, you did ever so well. And I'm glad you did it, because Paddy will be well annoyed if we don't get to take me out on time. Oh, right, let's see what the judges think. Leon. Gemma, well done, you, you survived. Well done. What, what did? You've been battered and bruised, you've overcome your fears. Well done, just Thank actually you. getting off that board. Such an achievement. Yeah. Such an achievement. Andy. Gemma, darling, where's the Essex girl? Do you know what I mean? Where's the Avenue Lodge? <laughs> OMG, shut up, go up on five metre or go higher, <laughs> innit? Oh, God, I'm so scared. <laughs> so scared. But it was great. I mean, Thank in all you. seriousness, your control, like Gemma earlier, was fantastic. Your tension was good. You could go up higher. You just don't believe in yourself. You, you can do this thing. You can do it. And I think that's a great effort. You've come a long way in, this, in, in your Thank uh, you. videotape. And I'm, I'm, right. I'm impressed. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Joel? Pure showbiz. <laughs> Loves the entry. Love Thank the cosy. Is it actually harder for bigger people to be good at diving? Yeah. Yeah, it's it really is much more difficult to get well, in the water. That's weird because no we're both brilliant, so I don't know how that's <laughs> happened. But anyway, well done. I've yeah. given it my best shot. I've given it a go. As I said, I've done it for everyone out there because 
The last couple of weeks of training has been nothing but tears and hell for me. Well, you did a fab job. Thank Let's you. get those important scores. Andy, please reveal your score. It's a very Good easy job. dive from the low board, but you did perform it well, so same as Gemma earlier, I'm giving you a seat. Thank you. John? For courage and showbiz, a seven. Thank you. Finally, you overcame your fears. It's five and a half for me, 5.5. Thank you very much. 18.5. 30. Well done, Gemma. That puts Gemma in fourth place on the leaderboard. Oh, we're Thank so you. proud of you. Well Thanks done. Thanks a lot. So, Gemma's done all she can, but is it enough to get your vote? So, if you think you want to see Gemma in the semis, then vote for her using the number on your screen when the lines open shortly. Let's hear it for Gemma Collins. Well done, Gemma. Coaching Gemma, I imagine, Tom, is it? Yeah, it's a piece of cake, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's great and she's given that all. She's terrified of everything, but she's she's really like very elegant this, entry it? into the water there. Come here. Hello. That was Hello. amazing. Absolutely Good. fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. How did I do? Yeah, it was great. Is that all right, Can we go to 2016. Sing for Vana. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> You know, it's not too late for Rio, is it? Never too no. late. No. Never no. Too late. Can you go higher? Can you go harder? <laughs> oh, yeah, I could, but I'll be crying even more. <laughs> I'll be bruised even more, but if it's what my fans want, I'll give them what they want. Yeah. Sounds like they might want a little bit more. Oh, no more bruising, though. There's no, no more. Left. No. Okay. No. Well done, Gemma Thank Collins. You. Yeah. Thank you. Right, that's it. All our celebrities have dived, so let's see the final judges' leaderboard. So Perry is at the top and Gemma Myrna is at the bottom with the lowest judges' scores. Remember, it's not all down to the judges, though. Their scores will be combined with your votes, so do you agree? If you don't, then you need to vote for who you thought died best. And you can change everything now because the vote lines are now open. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, Collins. To vote for your favourite celebrity, get calling us. Lines are only open for about 11 minutes or so. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35 pence. Other landlines may vary. Yeah, please don't try to vote if you're watching Plus One or On Demand. If you're voting uh, from a landline, call the long number. If you're calling from a UK mobile, call the short number. So if you want to see your favourite in the semi-finals, then make sure you vote. Only one celebrity is guaranteed to go straight through. Here's a reminder of all our divers and the numbers you need to call. To vote for Michaela Strachan, call 0902 0505 821 from a landline or 6505 821 from your mobile. For Ricky Groves, dial 0902 0505 822 from a landline or 6505 822 from your mobile. For Gemma Myrna, call 0902050523 from a landline or 6505823 from your mobile. For Perry Keeley, dial 0902050524 from a landline or 6505824 from your mobile. Gemma Collins, phone 0902 0505 825 from a landline or 6505 825 from your mobile. Oh, what a great night so far. Remember, if you want to see your favourite celebrity in the semi finals, they need your support. They do indeed. After the break, we have a spectacular performance yeah. featuring water acrobatics yeah. and, of course, the creme de la creme of diving talent. Are you doing it? Me? No, I forgot my kit, Robbie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Never forget that. You don't want to miss it, we'll see you then. <laughs> The show that whets your appetite for diving. Remember, if you want your favourite to leap into the semi-finals, you've got to vote 
the lines are going to be closing soon. Let's hear from our celebrities. I imagine relief is the overriding emotion, Vernon. It is, Gabby, it is. You're right, I feel really overdressed. Ricky, yes. to start off, you were a little bit nervous, yeah. but you were fearless in your diving. Are you happy with the result? Yeah, I'm relieved, and it's all due to the back staff, you know, all the trainers and that that <laughs> we've had, and uh, I think they've just like, done a wonderful job on us, and we've all come on leaps and bounds, so we'll thank them firstly, personally. Yeah, it was a good night. It was yeah. a really good night. Some great dives. Yeah. Gemma, you overcame a lot of fears, particularly water yeah. and height. Do you think you've done enough to get you into the semi-finals? You know what? No, like they've said, you know, it's a basic dive. But you know what? I came into this competition just to be able to do that dive on the three metre. And all those people out there who are scared of water, you know, it's for you. I'm so happy and I'm really pleased what I've done. Well done. You did yourself proud. Yeah, you really, really did. Really pleased. Carrie? First show, brand new series, straight from the 10 metre board yes. backwards. Yeah. Well done. Tom said you've got the perfect physique to be a diver. If it goes belly up with diversity, is it something that you think you might take up? Do you know what? I've had such an amazing experience that um, I definitely would love to keep it up. It would be wicked. Well, you've already started from the 10 metre board. If you get into the, the semi finals, what are you going to do? Something bigger and better. I'll build another. Another platform to jump on. <laughs> <laughs> for... Do it from the roof. Exactly. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Michaela, first to go tonight. Well done. Thanks. Well done. Some good, good comments from the judges. Are you happy with what you did? I, I was really happy with what I did. And, and I know they said, will I go higher? I'm, you know, I'm so relieved that it's over that I'm going to go for the Red Bull 27 metre challenge now. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah, well, good luck with that. <laughs> we'll be there <laughs> cheering from the sidelines. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Gemma! Vernon! Gemma, first of all, let's talk about how you started your dive. Very flamboyant. We loved that, didn't we, ladies yeah. and gentlemen? The only way I was going to get through it was to get in some sort of zone. And whilst I was up there, I thought, do you know what? I pretended that I was in the theatre <laughs> and I was about to perform. And then, obviously, I just went for it. All right, well, I can't wait to see what you pull out if you get into the semi-finals. Well done, gang. A great night overall. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Gabby, back to you. Theatre of diving dreams here in Luton. Now, you've only got a few minutes left to vote as lines are closing shortly. Before they do, though, we've got just enough time to show you and our celebrities what we could be expecting of them in the semi-finals. Here with a spot of Bogue are our Splash dive crew.
saw earlier tonight, five celebrities died for your votes and the chance to win a place in the semi-finals. The lines are now closed. So please do not call. After the break, we will reveal which celebrity ruled the pool and is straight through to the semi-final. And which two will be diving again in the splash-off? Who will be going through? We'll let you know soon. See you after the break. that gives a group of learner celebrities the chance to get their diving life. All five of our first team <laughs> celebrities have dived. So before we reveal the results, let's hear from the judges and what they thought of tonight's standard. Andy, was it all sick or just the one? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a great first show. And you know what? They all gave 100% and you can't ask more than that. For me, obviously, I think Perry Sean tonight. A bit of a star in the making there. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was great to see the leaderboard as well between Michaela and Ricky mm. being neck and neck, because I think that's exactly where they are. So it's going to be interesting. Joe, who impressed you? Well, I think you look quite good tonight, Vernon. Oh. You've <laughs> obviously made an effort. Back at you. Always, Joe, you know. <laughs> uh, no, for me, it was the, um, the two Gemmas, actually, because I think they both really faced their fears. And that's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Leon. Somebody's always going to be in danger, aren't they? Who is it for you tonight? It's a, it's a difficult one to call, really, because everyone's just gone outside of their comfort zone, so who knows which way the public vote's going to swing it. I'd be really interested to see who goes through. Indeed, All right, thank you out. to our judges. So, we've heard from our judges and all of our celebrities have died, but which two are going through to our semi-finals? I can tell you that the results are now in. We've combined the judges' scores with your votes, and the diver with the highest score will be going straight through to the semi-finals. The celebrities in second and third position will dive again in the splash-off for the remaining place, and the other two will be leaving the competition tonight. I can reveal the person at the top of the leaderboard, and going straight through to the semi-finals is... to leave the competition and go home. I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye to... <laughs> Gemma Myrna! <laughs> You're leaving us, Gemma. In she goes. She wanted to face her fears and she did that. So, Michaela, Ricky and Gemma Collins, two of you are in the splash-off and the other will be going home. I can now reveal the first celebrity in the splash-off is... Right, Michaela and Gemma Collins. No, Ricky. Ricky Groves and Gemma Collins. One of you will be going home tonight. Second celebrity in tonight's splash off is. Gemma Collins are in the splash off and they will dive again. But here he is, the man, man of the, the moment. moment. <laughs> oh my god. How do you feel, Perry? Completely shocked. I'll just thank you to everyone who voted because honestly it means a lot. Thank do you think it was the fact that you went off the 10 metre board that got you straight through to the semis? Um, maybe. 
But um, you're going to be seeing a lot more big art and bit of tricks. Well, we cannot time. wait. I know you've got loads more in you. You're very proud of him. But give us a little bit of advice that these two up there ready to take on the splash off. Gemma and Michaela, what can they learn from earlier? The thing is, Gemma just needs to be confident and believe in herself that she can do it. And Michaela just needs to get her hips up, make sure she grabs her hands and is tight when she hits the water. But they're going to be great. Thank you, Tom. We'll see you in a few weeks. Yeah, well, well done, Perry well Keeley. So, Michaela and Gemma Collins are in the splash off. They'll be going head to head in a bid to join Perry in the semi finals. They'll repeat their dives from earlier tonight, and then it's up to our judges to decide who they want to keep in the competition. Diving first in the splash off is Michaela. First time around, there was a slight of rotation. The judges said it might be better if it was done from the seven and a half meter board. But has Michaela improved on her second attempt to take her really wild side into the semi finals? Right, well done. Well done, Michaela. And has she done enough to impress our judges? Well, up next in the splash off and diving once again for a place in the semi finals, shown the love by Gemma Collins. first dive was good enough to turn our judge Andy into a strange Essex impersonator. However, this time, Leon, has she survived? That's what he said first time round, but will she make it into our semi-final? Wow. Well done, Michaela. That was a fantastic dive. Are you happy with what you did in the splash off? Yeah, I'm very happy. I think it's probably better than my original one. All right, well, well done. I'll go and get Gemma. <laughs> Come on, Gemma. Gemma's making it's her way right, over here. Yeah. The judges have seen a great Michaela job. and Gemma great Collins job. dive sorry, again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're going to ask them which celebrity they want to see in the semi-finals. And Joe, we're going to come to you first. OK, oh, uh, it's very difficult, because I think you're both brilliant for different reasons. Uh, but for pure chutzpah, I'm going to go for Gemma. <laughs> All right, Andy, who do you want to see go through? Gemma, I think you've faced your fears, and I think you've done really well with that. Um, but you go from a preliminary round into a final, and the aim is to go up. And Michaela, that's exactly what you did. Yeah. A better performance in there. Great start. Right start. The driver I put in through is Michaela. One vote apiece. Gemma, you got the vote there from Joe. Andy has given Michaela the vote. Leon, you have the deciding vote. Who is going through to the semi final? And give us your reasons why. Yeah, I'd love to put you both through, but it's a diving competition. Michaela, you stepped up. I think there's more there. I'm going to have to go with you, but well done, Gemma. Thank so, you. Michaela, I'm putting you through. Well done. Well done. Your commiserations, Gemma. No, listen, it's the best news I've had all day. <laughs> Thank you. Well, personally, you achieved so much going yeah, from the three metre board. Yeah, I've overcome my fears and. I won't be going back in the water again. And get some <laughs> ointment on your bruising. I will, I will. But yeah. thank you, everyone, that's voted for me. Well, well done, Gemma. And Michaela Strachan, 47 years old, looking incredible as you do, a fit as a fiddle. You could go all the way. I know you're joking about that 10 metre board. You're going to go up there, aren't you, on the semis? I'll tell you, tonight has made me feel confident. And, you know, little steps, little steps. Getting it to the five metre for me was, was challenging. I don't like heights. So, let's see. Let's see how it goes. What was it like in the splash off, having to do it all over again tonight? Actually, it was easier, because you know you've done it once, you've got over the fear of the fact that it's a live audience and, you know, millions of people are watching you. So, yeah, it was easier. Well done, Michaela Stracker and Jim. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done, well done, Jim. Well done. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's it then. Perry and Michaela are through to the semi-finals in a few weeks' time. Yes. Join us next Saturday at 7 p.m. on the will be taking the plunge from all of us. A very good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.
going to win this competition. All I want is to sure I don't break my neck. He's like hitting concrete. Getting a bit nervous now. Just get over it. It'll be a massive battle between me and the water. Well, I've done something a bit weird. Oh, really? My back is so sore. And it can all go horribly wrong. <laughs> Well, Splash will be back next Saturday at the slightly earlier time of seven. Next tonight, Paddy McGuinness throws four lads not into the pool, but into the lion's den of 30 single ladies. What else but Take Me Out is back. Then he's on with later with Jennifer Saunders and Jamie Cullum on The Jonathan Ross Show at 9.50.